The M40 pipeline supplies drinking water to Melbourne's CBD and the inner suburbs. Located within the St George's Road Central Median, it is part of our original water supply network constructed nearly 100 years ago. The M40 project involves replacing two sections of this water main, from the Preston Reservoirs to Regent Street Reservoir and from Oakover Road, Preston to Arthurton Road in Northcote. The M40 pipeline has a history of leaks and bursts. With Melbourne's growing population and the predicted increase in demand for water, the new pipeline is bigger and has greater capacity. The steel pipes to be used are 1.7 metres in diameter and most will be 13 metres long and weigh more than 10 tonne. The new pipeline will have the capacity to supply up to 250 megalitres per day under pressure into Melbourne's CBD. We needed to work with the Transport Authorities, Council and the community during our planning for this project. We recognised the need to move beyond our normal asset management approach. We needed to find a way to balance community values by retaining the trees and providing a replacement shared path between the trees. Melbourne Water has agreed to reinstate the shared path uh, it'll have greatly increased capacity, much better safety, and we foresee that it will handle all of the bikes that uh, we anticipate in the coming years. The government realigned the tram tracks and moved them into the median in the early 1990s. During the design process this time, Melbourne Water was able to use the experience and expertise developed during the designing of what we have now. More than 300 semi-mature trees will be planted following construction works. These new trees will be similar to the existing trees and when mature will provide a canopy over the shared park. Construction started in mid-November 2016 and is expected to take around 12 months to complete. In this section of the project, work will be completed in four stages. In this way we can minimise impacts on the community. Once the centre median has been cleared, we will dig a trench approximately 3 metres wide and 3.5 and metres deep install the pipe and backfill. Once completed, we will reinstate the centre median according to our master plan and weather conditions. We do not expect there to be any interruptions to the tram, trains or bus services. For the safety of the pedestrians and cyclists, a temporary shared pathway will be constructed. This was an important outcome from consultation sessions with residents and stakeholders. During construction, both the existing M40 and M160, water mains must be operational. This is a busy transport corridor and there are high voltage power lines overhead. We are committed to maintaining our water supply services to world class standards whilst minimising our construction impacts on the local community and leaving a legacy in the form of an exemplary visual and a recreational amenity of which the community can be proud.